Welcome to another lesson in this tutorial. This lesson is going to be a brief rundown on page numbers. Now page numbers are different to almost all other text types in Sibelius because they are fixed to the page, meaning that we can't select them or click and drag them around like we can for other objects such as bar numbers. And if we'd like to change or modify our page numbers in any way, there are really only two places that we can do it. The first is on the right hand side of the text tab in the page number change window. Here we can change a page number to whatever we want. And we can also change the number system that it uses. And strangely enough however, when we add or change the score's page numbers, suddenly we have the power to select them in the score. And this is useful because it means that we can even hide them as we would for other objects by pressing Control shift h Sometimes, however, you might be working on a project where you don't want any page numbers to be displayed at all. And so we can hide all of our page numbers or all of the page numbers for an entire section of the score in the same window as before. All we have to do is select Hide Page Numbers. The other place that we can format page numbers is obviously in the Edit Text Styles window. Don't forget to open this, we press Control alt shift t Of course, as always, we can change the various font parameters here. But for page numbers, what is particularly important if you plan to print and bind everything in a book format is that your page numbers are on the outside edge of the page. We can control these settings in horizontal position. And displaying page numbers on the outside edge should be Sibelius's default setting for page numbers anyway. However, sometimes you might want to print everything in a loose sheet format, in a format that's not bound. And for this, it can be nice to center the page numbers. Not only this, but some scores require the page numbers to be down the bottom. And this can quite simply be done under the Vertical Position tab by selecting Snap to Top or Bottom of Page from Bottom Margin. Now just so that you're aware, in most cases the publishing standard is that the first page of the score should appear on the right hand side of the publication. That is to say, in the score you'll have the first page displayed alone on the right hand side, then a page turn, and then pages 2 and 3 next to each other before the next page turn. And again, this is the default set out in Sibelius as you can see here. But if you decide to add a title page to the score, to do this we click the first bar line, and then under Layout, we can click Special Page Break or the hotkey, Control shift return You'll now see that because of my blank title page, my first page of the actual score is displaying on the left-hand side. So, if I'm going to be binding my music and if I want to add a title page, really what I have to do is to add two blank pages. The first page would be my title page. Then I would have a blank page. Some people even put a dedication on this page. And then the third page would be the first page of my score. But of course now I also have to change my page numbers accordingly. And there you have it. We now shouldn't have any problems when printing. For publication standards, the odd page numbers are always on the right hand page. And because page 1 of the score is obviously an odd numbered page, it will also have to be displayed on the right hand side of the book. Don't ask me why. This is literally just the standard for all professional book publishing. So that's it for this time. I'll see you in the next lesson.